At M&T Bank, we believe together we can move communities forward. That's why we're proud to partner with NBC4 to support the Salvation Army's Angel Tree Program. Please join us and drop off new unwrapped toys or clothing items for local area children in need at any of our Greater Washington M&T branches by December 2nd. With your help, we can make this holiday season a little more special. For more information, please visit NBCWashington.com community. Please welcome to the stage John Mongold. Senior Vice President, Senior Wealth Advisor, Wilmington Trust. Thank you very much. Good evening. Wilmington Trust is a leading provider of wealth and institutional services for M&T Bank, as you just heard from the lovely testimonial from Bob, so thank you very much. One of the largest, uh, 15 largest US-based commercial bank holding companies. Wilmington Trust is delighted to present the 2022 Verl Zanders Emerging Business of the Year Award. This year's three finalists represent diverse industries that address a variety of issues, including energy efficiency, infectious disease and biological warfare detection, and environmental stability. They are Lytility. <laughs> Lytility is a comprehensive lighting efficiency partner helping organizations convert outdated and inefficient lighting infrastructures into cost savings, energy efficiency, and improved asset value. Tetracor Inc. Tetracore is a biotechnology research and development organization that creates innovative kits, assays, reagents, and instruments for the detection of infectious diseases, biological warfare, threat agents, and biological markers. Last but not least, Werdaka Brewing Company. Werdaka is a farm brewery located right here in the middle of the idyllic 220-acre horse farm in Laytonsville with within Montgomery County's Agricultural Reserve. Please join me in welcoming these impressive finalists to the stage to receive their trophies. Lightility is Marnie Abramson. <laughs> Tetracor, Tom O'Brien. We're DACA Brewing Company, Jessica Snyder. Please join us in a round of applause for our, our three finalists. Congratulations to all three. Let's get to know them a little better. My name is Marnie Abramson. I am the founder and principal of Lightility. Lightility is an energy opportunity company. We started out initially doing LED retrofits for commercial facilities and over time have grown that into electric vehicle infrastructure and charging stations as well as commercial solar. Our clients are property managers, they are building owners, they are hedge funds, you know, portfolio managers. Anybody in the commercial space that um, has an electricity bill is a potential customer for us. I would say today LED probably comprises 80% of the revenue that we do. Electric vehicle infrastructure is a huge growth opportunity for us and um, something that we had been looking at for a number of years. Commercial solar is a very interesting business in this particular region because the incentives are so high. Lighting is how you deliver the experience of a facility. And so we have a lot of responsibility when we take over a project. It's not just energy savings for people. It's also about site safety. Um, and it's all about the aesthetic as well. How do people experience your space when they're inside? I love working in Montgomery County. 
I have been a part of the business community here for my entire life. So I think it's a great place to do business. I think that people in Montgomery County are very forward thinking. We continue to explore new opportunities for our customers and grow in areas where it makes sense. And we love the opportunity of taking our fundamental core strength in LED lighting and then taking those customers and introducing them to some of these other technologies and being able to do that as a trusted partner. Petrocor came out of a Navy program we started in 1992, Bill and myself and two other scientists, and we've grown to about 150 people between our current company, Tetracor, and also Cirrus Diagnostics, which is downstairs. We're a biotechnology company focused on rapid diagnostics using molecular biology and antibody technology. We cover a number of areas. We do human diagnostics, veterinary diagnostics, and biodefense related diagnostics. We're keeping some uh, TV and movie productions going. I have a friend from grammar school from Yonkers, New York, that is a producer for HBO, and she called me and said, you're keeping my shoot alive right now. So we're a reference lab. People send samples to us. But we also, because of our background with bio threats and going into the field and to events, so for example, we tested the bomb at the Atlanta Olympics with our reference lab. The Benet Brith incident in downtown DC, that sample came to our lab. So we can do things in the lab and we can take the lab to the site. The instrument that we've developed is a battery operated 10 pound instrument. It's very mobile. We can take it anywhere, run it anywhere. Yeah, COVID-19 when it hit was, a, it was, everybody knows it, it shut everything down and it really changed a lot of things. We expanded dramatically. We have moved to do remote testing on sites and all over the US now. It's been the kind of thing that has been able to allow us to do those things and expand the business. Not only were we really good lab scientists, we were good field scientists. So we went to Madagascar to detect plague in the field. I used to go to Africa to chase anthrax. We went to Peru for cholera. So it was a pretty exciting time. And we became very unique because we were the first group, Bill and his side, focused on uh, when you hear the word PCR for COVID, that's molecular detection. You're looking from DNA and RNA. I'm an antibody guy. We were the first to bring antibody detection with molecular detection anywhere in the world in four hours notice. This is such a rich area when it comes to the, the underlying technologies that it's uh, no problem. There's so many other biotechnology companies here. It feels good that you're contributing to society in, in many ways, you know. We're not your typical government contractor. We're not your typical small business. We're not your typical diagnostic company or biotech company. We're a little bit of everything. For an employee base, Montgomery County's it. Wardaka Farm has been here since 1932, and we added the brewery seven years ago. We put the farm into land preservation and wanted to add an agritourism-based business, and that was how we came about adding the brewery to our existing farm operations. I'm Jessica Snyder, and I'm one of the owners of Wardaka Brewing Company. In the big picture, brewing's been around for ages, right? Beer is a very age-old agricultural-based product. About 10 years ago, the state allowed farm breweries to, to exist, for farms to add that value-added processing to include the agricultural component and be beer. Uh, we happen to have a professional brewer in the family, and uh, there's three of us that are kind of third generation that are kind of behind the brewery uh, business, and that made it really easy for us to make the decision to add it. I love it. I feel like our family uh, community is kind of the backbone of the brewery. We were the first ones to go through the process in Montgomery County, so we're the first farm brewery in the county. What turned into just kind of a casual neighborhood experience, I live close by, let's go grab a pint at Wardaka, now is something that people I think are looking at at the lens of let's go enjoy a day out in the country. Ag businesses in the county are so important and they get overlooked because it's farming and it's easy to look at the other end of the county as kind of not being nearly as developed and as robust as farther down county. 
But because 30% of the county is the ag reserve and has 10,000 of jobs are tied to the agricultural community in Montgomery County. I take pride in the fact that I'm a business that's tied to agriculture. I don't think there's been too many, if any, businesses that have had kind of that agricultural backbone to them. For me to win this award gets to shine a little bit of a light onto what that kind of looks like, that agriculture is still very important in Montgomery County. And now the moment has arrived. It's the closest I'm going to get to the Oscars. So I'm going to take advantage of it. The Verl Zanders Emerging Business of the Year is Tetracore. <laughs> Will Tetracore please head to the stage? Yeah, I'm shaking. Uh, nothing like being the last speaker. Um, there's only one thing worse is your partner leaving for a flight 30 minutes ago and finding out you were gonna be the last speaker. Um, I think our video said everything. I wanna thank the council. I wanna thank all the award winners tonight, including the two other companies that were up there with us for this. It's a big surprise. I wanna thank everybody at my table. I won't go by name, but everybody there has something to do with our success, especially John Kelly, who's CFO, COO. Our new 96,000 square feet facility is the John Kelly Memorial Building up on Upper Rock. Um, if there's one thing they missed in our video is how much I spoke about Tetracor being family. We came out of the Navy program down in Bethesda, there was four scientists that could have gotten jobs anywhere in the government with any contractor, but we decided to do it ourselves. We've never taken a dollar of investment. We've grown to over 175 people. So many of those people have been with us 30 years back to the Navy. And speaking of veterans, we have a lot of veterans, including Bill Nelson, my partner who left. Um, but now our employees, and sons and daughters are working for us, and that means a lot to us. And we do a lot with internships, so come on by if you have a daughter or son that's interested in science. We do all kinds of things, like we said in our video. We're not focused on any one thing, we do a lot of things. So congratulations to everybody tonight. I'll be short, I wanna get home too. Thank you. <laughs> And, and, and the people who film are, are phenomenal. And Gigi, when she comes to your organization, is like this tornado, and you're like, who was that? You know? So thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, everybody.